I'm Neil Shirley with NV Composites, and we're going to talk tire pressure today. So as part of the Rebecca's Private Idaho virtual event, um, we're, we're jumping in with our expertise on tire pressure and how that can allow you to have a better experience for your next gravel adventure. Over the last decade now, I've personally been able to take part in a lot of the most popular gravel events out there, uh, including three RPIs. And what I've, what I've personally found is that over the course of the years, I continue going up in tire volume size. And that's mostly to make for a more comfortable ride because you can get through the rides or the events, long days on the bike, with your tires overinflated, but to really be able to enjoy the days, take the beating out of your body, have better traction, uh, so many benefits. It's really about finding that ideal pressure. With the correct tire pressure, your tire is able to deform and absorb the bumps that you're hitting. Rather than the bump having to lift the bike and the rider over it. So as you can imagine, much more efficient, robs less energy, having the tire absorb the bump. So an overinflated tire is gonna one, create a ride that's not very, it's not very fun to be on. It's just gonna be rough. And it's not gonna be efficient. Sometimes we think we wanna we wanna feel everything in the road and that's that's the fastest way. That's definitely not the case, uh, especially as the road surface gets rougher and rougher. You want a tire that can absorb the bumps that you're running over. This is not going to do that. If you have the tire pressure correct, you have a tire that can absorb the rocks, the ruts, the washboard that you're hitting. It's going to be a smoother, more efficient ride. But you also need to make sure that you don't go too low in, in air pressure because that has its consequences as well. Squishy tire feel, a uh, higher risk of pinch flatting. So finding that ideal pressure is key. So knowing how key tire pressure is to the ride experience, we spent a lot of time putting together a pressure chart. Uh, and we have it for road, mountain, and gravel specifically. So some of the, some of the things that we have taken into consideration to figure out what the ideal pressure is, is rim inner width, tire size and rider weight. Those key things combined, we can come up with a good baseline tire pressure recommendation. So for me, I'm riding a G23 rim, 23 millimeter internal with a 40 C Maxxis Rambler tire. 150 pounds. I come up with 31 PSI is a good starting point. So that's typically what I run in my front tire and my rear tire, I might be another pound or two higher. Um, so that lands on exactly what I would run at Rebecca's Private Idaho or most any other event. We're very spoiled with our air, air station here, but any good floor pump with, with a gauge will get you get you to where you need to be. One thing to keep in mind though, as tire volume increases or decreases, tire pressure needs to change as well. The pressure chart lists all of that, but as a size like this one on the left, 47 millimeter wide tire versus 40, to get the same ride quality, you would need to decrease the amount of pressure as air volume increases. So these are just our recommended tire pressure ranges. Hopefully what this does is encourage you to figure out what's right for you. Depending on what your road conditions are, the type of riding you're doing, that can change the pressure. So if you're riding smoother gravel or spending a lot of time on pavement, you might be at a little higher pressure than what's on our chart. If it's really rough terrain uh, where you're gonna have a, some micro vibrations, you might wanna bring that down a little bit more but we're just hoping that you open your mind to experimenting with tire pressure and find out what's right for you. You can find the tire pressure chart at envy.com backslash tire pressure. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you at Rebecca's Private Idaho in 2021.